Hi guys, my name is Kegu Sunam. I'm a Flutter app developer and fellow MacBook Air 2017 user. I'm going to upgrade my MacBook Air 2017 to the latest macOS Monterey. If you're new here, do consider subscribing to my channel. I post Flutter and Mac related videos. I'm currently running the latest macOS Big Sur till date. Uh, I have the latest version of Xcode, Android Studio, Flutter and VS Code during the time of recording this video. I'll show you the version of each software. You can pause the video if you'd like to know the exact version now. To be honest, I do like to upgrade my OS whenever it is possible. It allows my machine to be supported by various apps. But uh, with that, there are some risks that I'm taking by being on the latest version of OS. I do not recommend being on the beta or dev version if you're not particularly testing the app or a new feature. I have seen a video where it said that by updating to Monterey in M1 Mac, waking the computer when connected to external display is janky. I do keep my uh, Mac docked and use external display and Bluetooth and keyboard uh, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to interact with my machine. Hopefully this doesn't happen to me. Right. The tests that I'm going to perform are restart and app runtime. Restart is done when all apps are closed. Uh, time is recorded after confirming the restart action till the login window is displayed again. App run test is done by creating a simple app on Xcode, Android Studio, Flutter project in VS Code. Then running the application once in an emulator or physical device. Once the run is successful, then the time is recorded after stopping the application. It is done uh, because uh, building the app, uh, there are sometimes use of internet and speed with which we can download from internet vary from person to person. Uh, before I show you the result, all the tests are performed while connected to external 1080p display of 27 inch via display port. So here are the results. First, Xcode. In Big Sur, it took 7.84 seconds, uh, where, whereas in Monterey, it took 5.76 seconds. Uh, here, what we have done is create a simple app using Xcode. After letting all the install installation indexing to complete, a test run was done on a physical device. Time is recorded on the second run on the same device. If you look at uh, Flutter in VS Code, uh, in Big Sur, it took 1 minute 4 seconds, uh, whereas in Monterey, it took 49 seconds. Uh, a simple Flutter app was created, a uh, counter application was created. Recorded uh, the time recorded was done on the second successful run. Whereas if we check on Android Studio, it took 6.86 seconds on Big Sur. Uh, in Monterey, it took 8.10 seconds. Uh, here, I do like to mention that uh, memory heap size of the Android Studio was increased from default 1200 to 2400 MB. Uh, testing was done on done on emulator of API 30. Uh, uh, speed recorded uh, st time recorded on the second successful run. So if you look at the restart time of the operating system itself, uh, Big Sur generally took 58.41 seconds for me and in Monterey it took 1.26 minutes. So as always, restart was done when all the application was closed and after confirming the restart button, time was recorded until the uh, login window is displayed. So after completing the, uh, after completing the test, I could tell that uh, performance-wise there's not much has changed. It is a major version update of uh, macOS, uh, but it doesn't feel like that much have changed. Maybe in newer devices, you might see the differences. Mm, I don't use the features such as watching movie together, group first time or so. Maybe to those people who do, this this update could be a game changer. Anyway, I'm pleased with the uh, with new update. The issue of screen not waking when connected to external display has not struck me yet. Uh, this update also means that I will get longer software support from the apps from App Store or other. Some might want to know how battery life is, but my mic is almost 4 years old now. The battery is no way up to the modern standard. Uh, testing battery life won't be fair and also I use Mac always on charge because I keep my MacBook, uh, MacBook laptop lid closed and use external display. So in conclusion, I recommend this update and don't find any harm in updating. As a Flutter developer, I'll be extensively working on this OS. If sometimes something comes up, then I'll definitely make a video about it. Please leave a comment down below if your experience is different or same as mine. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe.